This is the Building Automation Monthly Podcast with Phil Zito, episode 97. Hey folks, Phil Zito here and welcome to episode 97 of the Building Automation Monthly Podcast and I am Phil Zito. For those of you who are listening for the first time, thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a little different than my normal episodes because in this episode I'm going to be going through my goals for 2018. So I'm going to lay out what the goals are for Building Automation Monthly, what you can expect moving into 2018. And then for those of you who are interested, I'll be going through my own personal goals, what I am looking to achieve in this year. Uh, During this podcast, I'll be going through my goal process, how I came about these goals, and just kind of my thought process around each one of these goals. So with that being said, let's dive in to episode 97. All right, so I have six different goals for my business, and my business is Building Automation Monthly. It's where I create online training programs for building automation professionals who want to grow and succeed in their building automation careers. And my first goal is to continue to develop and really improve what I believe to be my biggest kind of medium for reaching folks, and that is this podcast. So there's a couple different ways I'm looking to do this in 2018. I was about to say 2017. Uh, The first of which is to start doing more interviews. Now, selfishly, interviews help me in that they expose me to a larger audience, but they also give you all, my listeners, different perspectives and different thoughts on topics. And I've gotten a lot of good reception in the past on the interviews I've done, I just didn't have the bandwidth back when I was working a full-time job to be able to do interviews because they're a lot of work in what's called post-production, basically doing all the audio editing and splicing audio together and getting it all to just sound good. But now that I do building automation monthly full-time, I have time to do that. So I'm going to look towards, ideally I'd like to be every other episode would be an interview realistically it'll probably be every three or four episodes but we'll get there so that is my first aspect of the podcast the second aspect of the podcast is to go and get them on i've got them on a pretty regular schedule i most of the time i hit monday at 6 a.m but occasionally i miss that and I want to get to the point where every Monday at 6 a.m. this year, there is going to be an episode that comes out. So as you can see, it's the second that I am recording this, January 2nd. I'd actually met my goal. I'd recorded episode 97, but I just, I didn't like the way it sounded. I didn't like the way it came out, so I'm actually re-recording it right now. So I'll call this one Wash. But going forward, I really want these episodes to roll out every Monday at 6 a.m. That's kind of what you can expect. My second goal that I'm working on is what I call Building Automation Monthly TV. It's my live streamed YouTube show. And essentially, it's my TV show for building automation. And I've hit that every Monday or every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Central Time for three weeks in a row now. And I really want to step this up. I think this YouTube show has a lot of promise as far as helping people. I think, uh, based on my student feedback, that I'm a good teacher. And I think this is a really good medium for folks to be able to consume content. And what I mean by that is it's live so that folks can interact and it's at a regular time. But it's also something that uh, YouTube is a good platform for keeping stuff. The reason I didn't do Facebook live videos, that live video tends to disappear and, and get buried and you can't search it. Whereas with YouTube, you can search, I can create a playlist. It's just a lot better all around. I'm not really satisfied with the quality of the show right now. 
I think it could definitely improve. I'm learning as I go with everything. You know, I kind of try to live what I preach, which is I tell folks to just do stuff and figure it out as they go. That's the best way to learn, in my opinion, versus just sitting there and never doing anything. So my my goal is to really learn more about doing live streaming on YouTube and really figure out a way that I can improve that. I think there's a couple pieces of technology I need to get so that I don't have to go and stream my tablet uh, via my PC, via the live streaming software. It's a technology nightmare right now. But once I get all that figured out, I think it could develop into an even more awesome show. The content's really good right now. It's just getting the production quality up. So that's my goal for that, is to continue to do an episode of that each week. Who knows? I really enjoy that. Uh, I may end up doing two episodes a week. I'm not sure on that. It would uh, definitely help the business to do that because more eyeballs means more exposure to the brand, which means more potential students. But at the same time, I, I don't want to just put stuff out to put stuff out. So that is my second goal is to continue that live television. So that's something. And if you are listening to this podcast episode and you're like, where do I access BAM TV? I will have a link in the show notes at buildingautomationmonthly.com forward slash 97. Speaking of that, I've got another goal that I'm working towards and I've, I've actually already achieved it and it was kind of accidental to be honest. And that is speaking. So I'm speaking at the Ashray Expo, January 22nd, 2018. I'm teaching BAS 101. That's a free show for anyone in the Chicago area. Really encourage you to come out. Uh, anyone who is a fan of Building Automation Monthly, if you bring your book with you, I will sign it. That's your Building Automation Systems A to Z book. And uh, I'd just like to shake your hand and get to know you a little better. So feel free to stop by. But Beyond that, I've actually been invited to be a keynote speaker, which was my goal for 2018, at the Smart Buildings Industry Show in Amsterdam. And the Smart Buildings Show essentially is, it's an offshoot, it's its basically a... Um, and I've seen this a lot, I don't know how to describe it, I'm not as you could tell, an expert on the speaking circuit or how shows are organized. I'm kind of figuring this out as I go, but essentially it is a, a sub-show of a larger conference. And this, this show that I'm going to be doing the keynote at is all about smart buildings and smart homes. And what's really interesting is that They've asked me to talk about information technology and how it's affecting the building automation industry and folks' careers and how they can develop IT knowledge, which, I mean, that works out twofold, right? That's a big problem I see coming down the pipe, and I believe I have the greatest solution to that in my information technology online training course. So it's kind of a win-win. I get to teach folks how they can grow in their IT knowledge and then close the keynote with, you know, further direction on maybe attending my course or listening to some of my past episodes about IT. But that was my goal was to do a keynote in 2018, a paid keynote, and I achieved that. That was pretty awesome. I actually found out I was doing the keynote uh, and not a teaching session by going and looking at the agenda. And I was like, oh, I must have missed something because uh, that was interesting. But what's going to make it more interesting is this means I'm now going from a two-hour session to a 30-minute session. And so I've got to really condense my message. That's going to be it's gonna be an interesting challenge for me. But it's one that I think nonetheless I'll be able to pull, pull off. And then additionally... I'm looking at other speaking opportunities in 2018, other things that 
I could speak at. There's a couple conferences that I'm I'm thinking of, and I've reached out to folks, and we'll see what happens from those. Then, speaking of conferences, I am putting in... Um, not putting in... Putting in is not the right word. I'm in process of creating the first ever online BAS conference. And essentially, this would be the Building Automation Systems Summit or Building Automation Monthly Summit. I haven't decided on the name. Uh, 2018. And basically, I would do interviews of several dozen people, and then over a period of five days, I would release those interviews each day. And this would be a free conference, and if folks wanted the recordings of the interviews, they could pay like $99 and get all of the recordings. And I think this is something that I've seen done in a lot of other niches, but I haven't seen it done in the building automation industry. And I think it would suit our industry quite well. And so that's something I'm starting to work on in 2018. So if you believe you have a topic you would like to talk about and you want to hop on a live video recording with me and we'll record it and then use it later for the conference, just shoot me an email at phil at philzito.com and I'd love to talk to you. Ideally, I'd like this to be folks in the U.S. or at the very least Europe because otherwise it becomes just really difficult to coordinate time zones and it, it'll just be a logistics nightmare. Then after that, my, my fifth goal is courses. I have, I'm, I'm going to call 2018 the year of courses because I have a ton of courses coming out in 2018. The first of which is control sequence fundamentals where I'm going to take control sequences. So sequences of operations and, and teach you how they apply to controls, what uh, they do, what they matter, what they are. It's going to be a really cool course. And then we're going to move through several other courses, programming fundamentals, installation fundamentals, project management, operator. Uh, there's just a slew of courses coming out in 2018. And also, I've opened up Building Automation Monthly Premium, depending on when you're listening to this. It's been open for a day at the time of the recording. And that stays open until January 8th. It opens up every three months, and it's my group mentoring program where I do mentoring as well as training to rapidly help folks increase their building automation potential and career and just have massive growth in their building automation career. I'll give you more info on that towards the end of the podcast episode. So my goal is to knock out all of those courses in 2018, continue to improve my course quality. Um, you know, I look back at the first ever course I created, and then I look back at where my courses are nowadays, and there's a massive increase in video and sound and just how I organize the courses. And I continue to go and take training and courses on how to be an effective trainer, an effective presenter, and to really just improve those abilities. And I think we will see in 2018, we'll just continue to see an even greater improvement in my courses. And that brings me to my last goal, which is students. So, so far I've had almost 1,500 students go through my courses. And my goal for 2018 is to hit 10,000 students by the end of 2018. Now that is a lofty goal, a goal that quite honestly intimidates me. I'm a little scared, I guess, to announce it publicly that I'm trying to have 10,000 students when I'm currently at 1,500. But when I look at things, I've only been doing Building Automation Monthly full-time since October of 2017. And December was a really slow month, which I kind of expected. 
but I'm already seeing a massive pickup in January. So I really think with the conferences I've got going on and then the Building Automation Summit and all the new courses that are coming out, I, I actually think this could be a very feasible goal. And that's something I, I challenge you all to think through. When you go and you look at your goals for 2018, I don't want you to go and do goals that are kind of low-end wimpy goals. Try to create goals that are challenging and accept that you may not achieve those goals. But even if you don't achieve those goals, the fact that you went and achieved even some progress towards those goals is better than the baseline that you had, which was no progress and, you know, just being status quo, being normal. So continue to stretch yourself and push towards that. Speaking of stretching yourself, I've got two personal goals. And I, quite honestly... I was really embarrassed, or not embarrassed, embarrassed isn't the word. I was really nervous about sharing these because we live in this kind of world where everything's polished and everything looks good. And, you know, I've been told, Phil, you've got to run Building Automation Monthly like a business. You've got, you've got to be a business. You can't be personal. You can't let your personality into things. You know, you can't use slang and you, you can't be as expressive in your emotions. I've had a lot of people come alongside me and tell me these kind of things and be, you know, if you ever want to be big you and be taken serious, you've got to go and be a brand that, you know, is polished and corporate and all that. And that's like the reason why I left corporate America was so that I didn't have to do that. And so I didn't have to be that way. I wanted to go and create the training that I knew would help people without all the BS, without all the politics, without having to have 10 different people check something to make sure that it couldn't be potentially offensive, you know, because I talked about, you know, what the construction world's really like. And so then when I started to think about these personal goals, I was like, you know, I'm going to be sharing some stuff that quite honestly, is embarrassing to me to share. But at the same time, it's who I am. And I want you all to realize that although I'm really advanced in my building automation career, and I've got a really good history of success in building automation, I still have my struggles. I still have areas that I have weakness with. And that is because I've poured so much focus into my business that I've ignored things in my personal life that have really just come to a head as I've started to get older. And the first thing is to, so my first goal is to work out in some format every day. You know, when I met my wife back in 2005, I was 170 pounds and like 10% body fat, 8% body fat. I was like really healthy. And now I'm, you know, like 260 pounds. Because I've just focused on working. I haven't worked out. I haven't done anything healthy for myself. And so that's where my commitment to do some form of physical activity every day has become really important to me. Because I'm 36 in a couple days. January 7th is my birthday. So I'll be 36. January 7th, 2018. And I look at myself. I'm like, man, you're out of shape. you got to get back in shape. You got to take care of yourself. So that is, you know, my first personal goal moving into 2018. It's something I've, I've struggled with because I tend to have a personality where I hyper focus and my focus has been so much focused on business that I've ignored my health and that hasn't been good. And my second goal, and this is the goal I was really embarrassed to kind of announce, but you know, I don't drink, I don't gamble. I don't really watch TV. Um, I pretty much, my business is my life. Now, for some of you, that sounds really boring. But to me, I really love helping folks learn building automation. But I do have one weakness. And that weakness is online video games. I love, you know, first-person shooters, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six. And for those of you who have no idea what those are, well, then you could probably skip ahead two minutes <laughs> unless you want to hear this. But, you know, that's something I struggle with. That's something that eats up 
too much time. It eats up time away from my family. It's probably one of the big reasons why I don't work out every day is because rather than working out, I get my release by going and playing video games. So that's something I struggle with. That's something I want to completely eliminate in 2018 because it eats up time from my family, from my fitness. And it's it's something that I just want to take out of my life because it's just, it wastes time. It's just not good for me. So, you know, those are my two very personal goals. I look at uh, those of you who listen to my podcast as just part of my greater family. You know, you a lot of you have been here since episode one, and I really appreciate that. And so I just, I really struggled. I really hem and hawed about, I mean, I normally don't delete episodes, but I recorded this and then I deleted it. And I probably won't do a whole lot of these personal episodes, maybe once or twice a year, but just wanted to let you all know that, you know, everyone has weaknesses. Everyone has areas that they can grow in and you got to practice what you preach. And I always challenge all of you to work hard and to grow and to become better. And so I want you to know that this is an area I'm working at. To grow hard and become better. All right. With that being said, here's what's going on in Building Automation Monthly this week. So, like I said, depending on when you're listening to this, if you're listening to this when it went live, Building Automation Monthly Premium is open again for enrollment. It opens up every three months, and every time it closes down, the price increases. Now, Building Automation Monthly is the group mentoring program that I've created that allows you to work with me as part of a group to grow in your building automation knowledge and career. I've got salespeople, I've got owners, I've got technicians, I've got managers, I've got engineers, I've got all of these different folks in this program. And essentially what happens is for 12 months you work with me And we hop on group coaching calls every other week where I help guide you through your building automation questions. You get access to all of my online courses during that 12-month period. And you also get access to special subject matter expert interviews, special trainings, a dedicated forum. So it is a complete mentoring, training, building automation academy in a box and the best of it is that it's all online so you don't have to leave the comfort of your home this is the best deal out there as far as building automation training and you can find out more about it at buildingautomationmonthly.com forward slash 97 you scroll down you'll see the bam premium logo you click on that and it will take you to the course page where you'll be able to learn more But I really encourage you to check that out because it only opens every three months. And every time I close it down, I go and increase the price because I've added even more value over those three months. Now, in addition to that, like I said, I will be at the ASHRAE Expo January 22nd teaching BAS 101 and at the Smart Buildings Conference in Amsterdam. I think that's in it's in February, but I don't have the exact date memorized. But if you're in Europe, it would be awesome to see you there. So that's what I've got going on. Next week, I've got an interview with uh, Build Pulse coming up. And that interview, we will be talking through analytics. That'll be really exciting. That'll be episode 98. And it'll be the first of my subject matter expert interviews that I will be going and having on the podcast. With that being said, if you have any questions about anything covered in this episode, you can check it all out at buildingautomationmonthly.com forward slash 97. I know this episode, it was a little bit awkward because quite honestly, through the beginning of the entire episode, I was dreading talking about anything personal. I'm not a very personal person. I don't go and share that stuff openly. But it was something I felt like I had to put out there to my greater BAM Nation family here and just kind of let you all know where I'm at so that you you could see that everyone is working at something. And as we move into 2018, maybe you can accept my challenge of picking a couple goals that you think are hard and that you've struggled with 
and sharing those with others and going and working towards those. So I look forward six months from now reporting back to you all about how all these goals are going and how everything's going in the business. Thanks so much for listening to the podcast. I can't believe we're almost at episode 100. I'm thinking I might do something special for episode 100. I'm not sure, to be honest, Um, because that corresponds, I believe, right with when I'm at Ashray doing the expo. But we'll see. Who knows? Until then, make sure that you continue to push yourself, you continue to grow, you continue to challenge yourself, and I look forward to talking to you all next week in episode 98. Take care.